External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar has expressed concern about the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict in Gaza, em emphasizing the urgent need for humanitarian aid and the release of hostages. PM Modi had engaged with leaders globally to underscore the importance of creating conditions for peace, advocating for direct and meaningful negotiations. The minister stressed the serious consideration of Palestinian concerns, asserting that a two-state solution is essential to address the situation. Sanjeev Shivastav, uh, international affairs expert, is joining us live. Sanjeev, uh, what can be uh, <coughs> read into this uh, statement uh, by the external affairs minister? Well, Uday, I think uh, India's uh, our external <coughs> affairs minister, C. S. Jaisinger, has uh, made our uh, position on the Israel Hamas uh, war very clear. Uh, that uh, we want certainly want to see a uh, de-escalation happening there in this war, and also uh, the very grave humanitarian crisis. Uh, which is there uh, very much on that uh, uh, in Gaza uh, that must be addressed and all efforts uh, must be made to ensure that uh, relief uh, material uh, reaches to the people of Gaza, those who are uh, suffering hard at this point of time, a lot of collateral damages, a lot, a lot of uh, deaths have happened in, uh, in Gaza from October 7 onwards, so that must uh, also be addressed. At the same time, India has uh, reiterated its position that uh, all efforts uh, must be made to ensure uh, that a hostage crisis is resolved uh, uh, as early as possible. Because there are still, you know, more than 200 people uh, still in the uh, captivity of Hamas. And uh, yes, uh, we know that the negotiations are going on. But if uh, that happens uh, early, that will be good uh, for them and for the entire uh, region. And it will help, you know, de-escalate the situation further. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, one of the certainly concerns has been also that how uh, to avoid any kind of a regional escalation of this conflict. So the uh, India's position is clear. But uh, having said that all, our, you know, external affairs minister, Shia Jaisankar, has said that there cannot be any compromise with terrorism. And the terrorism in all its forms and manifestations uh, must be condemned and, uh, and all efforts must be uh, made to ensure a victory of the civilized world against uh, terrorism. And that is uh, what India's position has been. India, uh, you know, uh, from day one, our Prime Minister Shinan Modi himself had, uh, you know, come up uh, with a tweet after the uh, October 7th attack uh, saying that uh, uh, we are uh, fully uh, with Israel on this issue uh, when they are fighting a uh, war, uh, where, when they are going to fight a war against terrorism. So India's uh, position on terrorism is uh, uh, as consistent and clear. Uh, we have a zero tolerance approach against terrorism. And again, our uh, external affairs minister, C. S. Jaisankar, has said that yes, uh, uh, this issue of terrorism, uh, there cannot be a no no uh, country in the world can afford any compromise with uh, terrorism. But uh, having said that, today, at the, in the last, I would say that uh, India is also of the view that the, uh, though this war is not between Israel and Palestine, but Israel-Palestine issue uh, must be resolved, and that can only be done through dialogue and negotiations. There can be only uh, one solution of this Israel-Palestine conflict, and that is two-state two solution. And uh, uh, India has always advocated for two-state solution, but for that to do, you know, uh, it, it can only happen with uh, negotiations, with dialogue, there can only be negotiated, you know, solution of this conflict. Uh, right. War, through this kind of attack, this cannot be resolved. All right. Uh, well, let me uh, quickly, in fact, also join Colonel Sodi uh, uh, for his comment as well, uh, international affairs expert. Colonel Sodi, uh, you know, Jay Shankar, of course, uh, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar, of course, speaking once again on the Israel-Hamas war, uh, uh, putting out uh, India's latest position uh, on uh, the conflict. Well, Uday, India for long has been saying that violence mm. is not the solution to any problem. And our Prime Minister and our External Affairs Minister has time and again stressed that the only way to end this uh, Israel-Palestine issue is a two-nation solution. So yet again, the External Affairs Minister has stressed upon this important aspect and has made an appeal to both the sides to end this war because, this, because war and violence doesn't benefit anyone. It only kills people. It only destroys property. So I think it is long now that Israel and Hamas have, uh, you know, uh, waged a war since 7th October in which over 14,000 people have died, which includes uh, 12,500 Palestinians and over 1,500 Israelis. Now is the time for both Hamas and Israel to pay heed to what India is saying, what the Indian Prime Minister, the Indian External Affairs Minister have been saying time and again. They should end this war immediately, sit across the negotiating table, have dialogues and discussions, and finally, agree on a two-nation solution to ensure that peace and prosperity comes in the Middle East and no further bloodbath takes place in that area. For more such videos, 
subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.